ever wondered what it is that sets up the attraction between Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez? And what causes them to come together, split apart, and then come together again? Hi, I'm Rochelle H.C. Hirsch. For over 17 years, I've been using my system about true energy to understand more of what drives both good and not so good connections between people. My new book, Relationship Chemistry, Understanding the Unspoken, helps answer those questions. As for Justin and Selena, I sense that they are what I call associate energy, like good social friends, because both of them are famous and attractive and have similar ages and backgrounds, it seems sort of normal for them to become the power couple. However, this was a relationship made not to last. Justin and Selena are what I call associate energy. This makes for pretty good social friends, but the stickiness is just not there for a long-term, successful, intimate relationship. I sense that both of them are working to overcome old wounds about how life is that were triggered early in life by their fathers. Justin is working really hard to feel of value, while Selena is working really hard to avoid feeling that she is inadequate or nothing to them. I sense that these two were drawn to each other to play out these hardwired unloving beliefs with each other. It's these subconscious beliefs that drive their breakups, and the associate energy is part of that script. It would be great if they could transform their unloving beliefs into more empowering ones. That would enable them to attract much better long-term relationships. In the meantime, they're doing the best they can and their financial success takes the sting out of it. For more about this system of true energy and how come relationships are how they are, including how to get a true energy reading for your own relationship, check out my website, relationshipchemistry.com. I'll have updates about Justin and Selena in the blog.